You've spent enough time playing simulator games that Dad is convinced it's time to put you to work. He asked me to take you on a delivery run to Harlequin Station. We've got a couple of cargo canisters to transport there, and they have some supplies we'll be picking up to bring back. We'll be using the YT-1300s. I'm taking the Thilu. You can fly the Sabra. MK will accompany you as your co-pilot. All you have to do is follow me and do what I do. We're picking up fuel cells and coolant. Dad was pretty emphatic about not forgetting the coolant. It's for the Otana. If everything goes smoothly, you'll be working solo in no time. We're going to pick up the cargo canisters right in front of us. I'll take the one on the right, and you take the one on the left. Press T to target the first cargo canister. Go down to a crawl as you come in above it. Initiate automatic sync-up. Shift P. When you are within 0.2 clicks. Great. Now target the nav buoy and key and head toward it. Once you're within 0.5 clicks of the buoy, we can make the jump. So, Aaron, your friend Olin hasn't been around lately. Why? I didn't want to say, but he's he's joined the Rebellion as a pilot. Really? Wow. We should do that. I bet one of us could be the next Luke Skywalker. Who? You know, the guy in the bootleg holo Olin showed us. The guy who took out the Death Star at Yavin. Well, I hate to rain on your parade, MK. But I don't think the Alliance is accepting droids as pilots. Here we are at Harlequin Station. Let's deliver the supplies. Hello, Azimut Transports. Thanks for the quick service. Please deliver the cargo canisters to the docking platform. Just watch where Silu drops her canister. Then do the same. For delivery, you must engage the auto-docking procedure. Approach to within one click of the station and press Shift D. are on an attack vector. It looks like these newcomers mean trouble. System Patrol Craft Court is abandoning us. They must have been bought off. As a transport, we request your assistance. Harlequin Station, what can we do? These Baraksha have been threatening us for a while. I didn't think they had the guts to try something like this. I am sure they were not expecting a fight. If you move to intercept, they'll probably back off. They have activated their weapon targeting systems. I'm not sure we should get involved. I say we fight. We can run rings around any Varaxo pilot. Dad's been trying to reach an understanding with the Varaxo. Someone needs to tell the Varaxo then. They are attacking us. All right, I'm convinced. Let's teach them some manners. What do you as a mean fools think you're doing? This is a private matter you do well to stay out of. Well, we're involved now. I'd back off if I were you. a favor. Don't let us catch you around here again. home safely and report this to Uncle Anton. Thank you for your help. We owe you a very big favor. G2 and I3 are the containers we want. We must go get them.
We have the fuel cells. Target the nav buoy and let's head home. So long, Harlequin Station. Good work! You're clearly ready to conduct transport operations. Dad and Uncle Anton will be pleased. Well done! I think Dad will have to agree you're ready to go to work. That mix-up with the Varaxo was an unpleasant surprise, and a reminder that you have to be prepared to fight now and then. Harlequin Station's director owes us big time. Ace, you really performed well in that last mission. Great job, Ace. We have earned another chance to show what we can do. This time with Emar. Alright, Ace. Thanks to that little scrap you and Aaron got yourselves into with the Varaxo, Uncle Anton wants me to make sure you know how to stay alive when the shooting starts. Your instincts served you well at Harlequin Station. It's evident you've learned something useful from all those space combat sims you're always playing. But now, it's for real. And you can't rely on just instincts and sim experiences. I guess the most important thing to remember is that a YT-1300 isn't a starfighter. For a transport, it is fast, light, and maneuverable but you wouldn't want to take on an Imperial TIE fighter in it. The fact of the matter is, you're better off avoiding trouble in the first place, rather than trying to fight your way out after you've gotten into it. I'm going to run you through some simple targeting exercises, then we'll fly off to an old debris field. It'll be easier than shooting Minox off a power cable. I'll program some drones to lighten things up a bit. All right, MK, try not to hit anything in your way either. Sir, my flight record is quite unblemished. I know. I'm just rousing you a little. Hope you're enjoying the ride in the gunner's turret, little brother. All right, MK. Park your ship above that rendezvous buoy. I'm going to deploy a drone for Ace to track. Demon will drop off a few drones while he explains. Target the drone, then examine the CMD and sensor displays. The CMD identifies the target and displays critical target data. The sensor displays allow you to track all nearby objects. Just remember the bracketed dot is what you have targeted. The colors identify friend from foe, neutral and unknown. Purple is family, blue is neutral, presumed friendly. Red designates an Imperial vessel.
Green is a rebel craft. All as any other aggressor or unknown that is presumed hostile. So what do you say, you and I just get straight to the shooting? Go ahead and shoot all the drone. Blast everything in sight. Target the nearest piece of junk and destroy it. Okay, MP. Just keep her steady through the junkyard. Yes, sir. Permission to take evasive maneuvers if necessary? Denied. It's up to your gunner to blast anything threatened. Let me. I have total confidence in his ability. Wonderful. Now the pipe dime will proceed. Hey, let's celebrate. I'll buy you a drink at Denari's Casino. Denari's Casino? That place has a... Follow me, MK. You have the coordinates. Hey, does Upper Sewer look familiar? Yeah, we chased that ship away from Harlequin Station. Yeah, and they shot at you, didn't they? Let's go show them what we think of that. Antrasta, you've just worn out your welcome. Cease fire at once. Settle your disputes elsewhere. Acknowledged. We were just leaving. All right! Sorry, little brother. Get that drink some other time. I'm under attack! Yes! in the real world after all. Not too shabby. You've demonstrated pretty decent gunnery skills in the good old YT-1300. I guess we can trust you with some of the riskier jobs that sometimes come our way. You might actually be useful the next time some stinking group of pirates tries to jump one of our ships. That is a cool gift you were given in the last mission. 
By the sounds of it, we had better help out Aaron quickly. Listen to this. Hey, little brother, I need your help. Before Dad and Galen left, Dad gave me permission to work on a new security code system for our cargo storage area records. I figured out a new system that'll work really well, but I managed to trash the old one completely before updating it. Now I have to rebuild the database. To do that, I need to go to each of the affected storage areas and scan every container. With your help, we can get it done twice as fast. And if we do it right away, we can be back before Uncle Anton even realizes we're gone. Target the nav buoy and we'll be on our way. I'll take the Type G's, you take the Type I's. Iman says you did pretty well with the weapons training. That's great, because things have been heating up out here. Since the Rebels destroyed the Empire's Death Star at Yavin. In the chaos of war, some people are sure to take advantage. As a case in point, our competition with the Veraxo. That incident at Harlequin Station is just the beginning. Yeah, Uncle Anton says Carmen Veraxo is some sort of petty crime lord. And that he's been trying to steal business from us. There's even a rumor that he's blackmailed an Imperial officer. We're going to have to be very careful out here. through here. Let's go on to the second area. Report on primary target. They have started their docking operation. Uh-oh. Looks like we have raiders attempting to steal from us. We should make sure they do not come back. Report on primary target. They have completed their docking operation. That's a dangerous area. Report on primary target. Their shields are up. They have been destroyed. That's gonna teach them some matters. Let us do what we came to do. We will report this later. 
You take the tanks. I'll take the Type J containers. Trouble. An unidentified ship is in the cargo area. And it has escorts. We must get them. Hey, hey! You better shake that bandit off your six. Unidentified ship, you're trespassing. State your business. Mm -hmm. Good! I'm so hot! They're not responding. Assume they are hostile. Primary target update. They are aboarding their mission. It is the end to do again. That is a Varaxos ship. Looks like they are bugging out, Aaron. Should we stop them? Yeah, if we can. We need to know what's going on here. The cowards have gotten away. Well, let's finish what we came here to do. We'll report this to Uncle Anton as soon as we get back. You take the spears, I'll take the boxes. Oh my. One of these containers is full of spikes. I guess our visitors were up to no good. Yeah, and you realize this storage area has been compromised. That means we will have to move all these containers. Let's hurry up and finish, then we'll return home. Okay, we're done. Let's go home. Should we leave that container of spice here? All we need now is to get caught by a random Imperial patrol. I guess we ought to bring it home with us. I'll pick it up. I owe you one. Now let's go tell Uncle Anton about what we saw. Well, Aaron was grateful for your help. It certainly sped up the process of restoring the storage container database. And it was really lucky we were there to help her deal with those interlopers. Just think, raiders in one cargo area, and Varaxo troublemakers at another. This all means the security of our storage areas has been compromised. We will have to relocate all those containers. The discovery of contraband spice in one of those containers was a shock. The Varaxo sure do play dirty. Aaron is filling in Uncle Anton, and we will see what he says. But I will bet he figures out a way to get back at them. That is a nice souvenir you picked up in the last mission. 